start to be used as fodder for the skitter gate in one way or another. Okay. Make your way to Morgan's Loft Farm and save as many as you can. <laughs> Okay. Whole mess of dudes. Some running attacks. There was a running attack from right there. Did you see him? And now he's stuck. He ran it, did a running attack in, and got stuck in the attack animation. And or got stuck in the attack repeat pattern. Let's see if he does it again. That was just a walking up attack. I don't think he has a slot. I don't think that dude has a slot. I think he's attacking anyways. See? And that's greater than, that's hyperdensity right there by definition. One, without him, it's one, two, three, four, and then maybe this guy over here is doing the same thing. Which would be exactly vermin type one density. Wall density is four, instead I'm getting six. Let's see, let's see what happens. So running attacks. So it's pretty close to the optimal slot system, what you'd expect from just the slot system alone, with this little bit of funkiness of dudes in the background initiating running attacks, followed getting stuck in the attack repeat. All right, want to try mix? Actually, I want to try corner condition. Expected behavior is two dudes. Running attacks to initiate, even though I wasn't running backwards. Yeah. So that's pretty expected. This looks good. It's, it's a little bit funky that they all, they're all stuck in the same area there, in the back. Let's see if I can move slightly. Did you see what happened there? Yeah. Now look. Now look. Yeah, now they're stuck in range with you. That's so. the behavior. So if I joust, running forward and then backwards, which is a very normal vermin type behavior. I bait a whole bunch of running attacks. They come in and they get stuck in this repeatingly. Yeah. How can I block so much? I'm stacking, I have 97% block cost reduction. If I had 100, I probably could block indefinitely. Looks like 97 is enough too. Um, okay, let's see. Based off of the passive on Battle Mage, the sword property, and the necklace property. Okay, um, I don't know how to go backwards up this list, but I'm sure there's a way. But why don't we try Mixed Party and see if that's a thing too. But that's the issue. It's this running attack and then getting stuck in a stable orbit. There's like no check where in between attacks they're like, oh, by the way, we're actually not supposed to be here. And the other difference is in Vermintide 1, notice how I ran forward... I don't, it was bizarre. I ran forward and then they initiated running attacks. I don't think it was, I ran forward and then backwards, but in either case, I was really <laughs> surprised by the initiation range on that running attack. You would never ever see that behavior in Vermintide 1. I don't quite know what's causing that. Yeah, there's, there's been a lot of rewrites of the slot system and all the... Basically, the attack action that all the Horde and Roamer enemies use. So... They, ha they have been rewritten to be a bit more aggressive and also to allow the medium and large slot types. We'll try a mix in a sec. So the other thing of, of note is in Vermintide 1, it was very uncommon to get them to initiate a running attack unless you were running backwards, but it wasn't impossible, which always suggested to me that the condition for a running attack was not your movement, but their movement relative to you. Uh, it's it's based on your movement and the distance to you. Yeah, so it is supposed to be your movement, but sometimes I was getting... I definitely was getting... I was just standing here, right, holding block, and I was getting reoccurring running attacks from the people in the back row. Yeah. So And I was literally... There's no way I was... I was not moving myself yeah, at it, all. It's based on your movement, but if you have zero movement and the distance is large enough, then they oh, can initiate so it's one attack. or the other, so there is both. Yes. Okay, which explains why the ogre always initiates on a running attack on you guys, because he's covering so much distance. He's probably already queued up the running attack before he gets to you. 
Yeah. Um, and it's the same reason in Vermintide 1 that he usually initiated with um, uh, the, the big fist bump. bump. Um, I think that was his running attack. Yeah. Okay. So why don't we try a mixed... I think I have to go all the way around, don't I? What am I doing? Uh, how did I even get to that one? So fanatics occupy a small slot, so we'll spawn a whole bunch of those. And then we'll spawn some marauders, which occupy the medium slot. Why don't we do mostly fanatics to simulate the condition where a fanatic horde spawns, but there's a few marauders out there and they get aggroed by the horde. This looks correct. It's a little funky that they're not moving. It's not yeah, fun. It's a little funky. Guy, you expect them to I think, come I think there's, there's one slot between the two orders to your uh, right. Right here, there's one small slot left. Yeah. Or he's stuck in the stable. Let's see if we can figure out which. So I'm moving a little bit. Oh, there it is. It's that weirdness again with an insane number of attacks, but okay. Yeah, I moved into hyper density. This looks nice and stable. So when you move around in the horde, this is funky. It has probably something to do with the fact that I spawned all of them right next to each other. But you should expect to see them in their, their kind of cheering behavior and spreading out. That's the normal V1 behavior. But this this could be because the test is somewhat artificial. It has something to do with the fact that it's the start of the map, or I spawned them all literally on top of each other. Yeah, it could be a whole bunch of things, but it is it's, it's, it's easy for us to test and see what the actual actual data says. Because I feel right like this is a like little number. One slot. It looks like there's one waiting slot that is available, but it should be like all over the place. I, sh I should expect something here, and this feels like too many. One, two, three, four, five, six. I feel like this should be four to five. For a flat for a flat wall in V1, you get five slots maximally. This is six, which feels a little high. But maybe that's intentional. Yeah, it is. To punish the wall scoot. I'm also a little surprised by his positioning being so close to the edge. Normally the first slot is here in V1, not here, which makes it easy to run along the wall. But it's still relatively easy to run around the wall. Okay, I moved towards the horde initiated a ton of attacks. I didn't quite tell if those are running attacks. And it's taking them... That must have been 40 attacks easily. And now let's see what's going on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 in stable attacks for a significant period of time before this guy retreated with a running attack at the same time. So he was one of those ones that was stuck in that running attack into repeat. So we could go back and count the number for a, a mono... Horde, right? Just small, just medium. I feel like the density is a little higher for a mixed horde, but not hugely higher. The bigger problem is this running attack thing. So let's run towards this density one more time. Predicted behavior now is a ton of running attacks, followed by them chilling out and doing standing attacks for a little bit, then retreating. Any guy, any guys? Okay. Now let's run back from the, 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 the hyper density again. And they've retreated. So walking into the back line leads to all sorts of bizarre behavior. Stable behavior. And now I'm stuck in another bizarre stable behavior. I need help. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I feel like there's more than one thing happening here. What about you? In terms of the hyper density? Yes. I, I think it's strange that they, they are waiting at the same spot and not uh, spreading around the player. But I'll, I'll have to see exactly how this area looks in terms of uh, nav mesh. We can, uh, we can move to another map. 
see if it's a little different. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if the nav mesh is funky for the beginning of these maps. Like, it's mm. not perfectly optimized, because why would you think that anyone would ever fight here? Yeah, sure. Alright, so let's move around a little bit before they initiate with us to try to get them to spread out. Be a little more realistic. And then we'll move back towards them and see. Ah, the shields make it harder to see. That was a mistake. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's walk towards that grouped up set of um, passive rats in the back and see if they initiate running attacks into stable standing attacks. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, this looks okay. All right, let's walk again. Baiting some standing attacks. One, two, or running attacks. Four, five, six, seven. This looks okay. That was funky. All right, let's try it again with non shielders. Why don't we just try some Skaven for a moment? Now ah, we're on. <coughs> Where's the real clip? So again, doing a little pre-running to hopefully mix them up a little bit so they're not all standing literally in the same spot, which which would never, ever happen. They never come from literally exactly the same spot in a real game, guys. Out you come, dark ones. Auntie Sienna has a present for you. Okay, so ideal slot system behavior is since I'm running around, I'll initiate some running attacks, and then after a second, they'll calm down, and there'll only be, you know, four to five, maybe six small rats near me, and everybody else in the back chilling out, spread out. And then as I run towards them, they will reallocate towards the slot system. So the uh, slot system will be dynamic. There might be new rats in the six slots near me, but it won't be a ton of rats, and there won't be more than six rats as I move around. Yeah, there might have been something else funky going on there. That one test. I'd throw that one test out. There was something else weird going on. This guy should be. That's it's perfect. One, two, three, four, five. This is like perfect V1 behavior. All right. And let's walk over here. Got to force them to initiate some standing attacks. These guys are a little slow to reallocate. What's up with that? Hello? Why aren't you going over here? Okay, there you go. See how you got assigned to the slot behind me? Now they're spreading out. Perfect. One, two, three. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's that? I think what we're seeing right here has to do with the fact that there's a wall right behind us, which was forcing the passive rats that were kind of supposed to be chilling there to get close enough to do this standing attacks, just because proximity-based standing attacks. One, two, three, four. No, I don't want to die! Okay. So why do these behaviors almost never come up in real games? Because everyone kills everything as they're coming to you, so they don't have chances to stack up. <laughs> you only see it in extreme situations, but it, it does happen sometimes. That's where you get the Reddit posts. That dude did something weird right there. One, two, three, four, five. This is perfect. Anything else you wanted to test while we're here? Um, I mean, it's much easier for me to see what's going on when I have the, yeah, the real dev tools. tools set up and stuff. All right. Because I can actually see the visualization of the slots and where to want to go. I but noticed it, I could not cool find to, the debug. To get your feedback. I could not find that in the debug. We looked for it this time. It was in the V1. We found it eventually. <laughs> the slot system debug? Yeah, yeah. I think it's named the same. Oh, well, I'll have to find Chris Plus to do it again. He's the one who found it last time. One, yeah. two, three, four, five, six. This is perfect. Skaven feel perfect. Yeah, the strange thing is they use the same slot whoa, type whoa, as the Whoa, 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 whoa. I saw no running attacks, but I am getting stable standing attacks. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
10, 11, 12. And I don't think it's a coincidence we're getting this stable pattern right here, and there's an obstruction right here. Yeah. Because that was always an issue in Vermintide 1, with obstructions forcing rats closer to the slot system, which would give you hyperdensity. But over here, it's perfect. Alright. Skaven looked good. Ow! <laughs> Our shield enemy is still medium size. The mal the marauders are the Skaven clan rats are, are small. The yeah. storm vermin are small too, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, the Skaven are. Yeah. All right, let's just try some bunch of marauders again. See if it was that spot I was standing in that was funky. <laughs> just standing over. <laughs> This is wrong. This is very wrong. One, two, three, four, five. But now it's right again. Yeah, it was a hyper density when you ran at them. But they stayed. So, yeah, when I s ran at them, I can stably. No? What the hell? I don't have an explanation. Four, five, six. Because I just ran at them right there and I didn't get stable hyperdensity again. Spade some running attacks. I'm gonna joust. Simulate jousting. To see if I can bait some running attacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This seems a lot... It's too high, but it seems a lot better. My prediction should be four to five. I get one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's run at this guy. It's this guy's here. I don't quite know what that first hyperdensity was. That was way even higher than this hyperdensity. Yeah. Like, this is very mild hyperdensity. This is like. A, this is okay hyperdensity. This is only really. In fact, this might even not be hyperdensity. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we're gonna die. But when, I, when they first got here and I moved towards them, we got that pretty incredible hyperdensity. And that might have been the initiation phase where they weren't quite all in the slot system yet. Yeah, could be. Let's try Just Fanatics one more time and then we'll do a mixed. And then maybe we'll call it. Some folk were too stubborn to show a clean pair of eels when it all went south. Now, you can't sit by. We could change the map too. I wanted to isolate variables, but. I wish I knew how to go up the list instead of just down the list. <laughs> there, I, I think um, Aussie Man changed it so you can go both ways, but I don't think I have the hotkeys set up right yet. There's so much cool stuff they're working on, by the way, mods-wise. It's just... I yeah, know. I can imagine. One of my favorite ones moves the ammo notification to here and has it always on, so up to the middle oh, of the damn. right screen. And the other one compresses the kill feed, so if they're multiple of the same thing, it starts showing like X something something something, and ah, you I see. pick the location to move it back to the lower left where my eye... I, top right, I have such a hard time seeing. I don't know why. I don't know if there's anything wrong with it objectively. It just might be years of Vermintide 1. It's like, that's not where the kill feed goes! <laughs> Everyone knows that. <laughs> yeah. And you could not in the text-based kill feed again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's already been done. But of course, everything will be referred to as a boy. There's sneaky boy, grabby boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at this dude. That location over there might have just been busted, but let's see. One, two, three, four. I always count feet. It's easier to count feet. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ew, that was that, that that was a running attack, dude, from the back. There he is again. It feels like it's the same one. It's this emaciated-looking guy right here. 
There he is again. It's the same one. It was literally the same one all three times. And now he's stuck in a standing yeah. attack pattern. But one time he's going to just by stochastic stuff, he's going to get knocked back by the block stagger enough. Just get knocked out. And there it is. But then he's going to decide randomly to do it again. Why? It's the same dude. It must have something to do with the initial condition where he first gets to me. One, two, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <clears throat> All right, let's move towards them again. And we'll move back. This is too many. That was eight units in a corner. One, two, three. But it's coming down. That was a running attacker. This dirty one, the dirty looking one. He's our running attacker now. Yup, it's stable. It's stable. It's not always the same one, but if you get one to do it, it's always the same one. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there's another one right there. Oh, it's the same Dirty Dude. Yeah, it's Dirty Dude. It's, it's the pig pen of Chaos Fanatics. I'm not sure if, this, if it's only one guy doing it. I think it's just random. I saw, I, um, I have the recording, but I'm pretty sure, for example, it was the white guy with no shirt the first time, and then it was the pig pen looking guy, the dirty looking guy the second time. Yeah. Um, why don't we do mix one more time, and then we'll call it for this map. Uh, shoot. Oh, yeah, you're gonna trigger all your buddies, aren't you? Oh, shit. You don't honestly think they've given up, darlings. Guys, we should use this mod to make, like, staged photos. <laughs> <laughs> Bam photos. Uh, this one. It's had, like, Eight Marauders. It's pretty close to Horde level. Alright, so we're going to run around a little bit at first to simulate, you know, the normal stuff that happens at the start of a fight. Oh my god, this density. Woo! One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh my god. That is not normal. That is not normal! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> okay, enough yeah, that, said. That could, that could also be because he spawned everyone in a single spot. I was trying to move it around, but yeah, you're right. Yeah, but it's a very tight area with so many units. I think it's hard to simulate an actual game. Yeah, yeah. Can it's we spawn hordes? Um, <sighs> I think Prop Joe has the tool. Let me see. Do you have force spawn horde? Obviously, we had all these tools for V1. I don't know if we made, remade them all or trend. It's so trivial to move them forward, but every once in a while, something's different, and then it takes work. Okay. I don't think there's a definitive enough test, guys, to know if what, what exactly is going on with that mix situation. But at minimum... Based off of this, and then some anecdotal stuff from normal play, it does seem clear that there's something f little funky going on. So, and it may or may not have to do with mix size, because we couldn't get any funkiness. Like, let's—I wanted to do this as like um, a hypothesis, right? So, the hypothesis <laughs> is that that hyperdensity is being caused. The weirdness, insane hyperdensity, right there, is being caused by everything being spawned so close to each other. So if that is the case, if I spawn three, you know, 60 slave rats literally right on top of each other, we should get yet again insane hyperdensity. If we do not, then, you know, it's it's pretty much a negative testing experiment. So why don't we try that? As the testing the negative. Yeah. And that could also be the case in the live game if you have, for example, a horde Vector block. climbing down an uh, edge. Yeah, yeah, true. And you stand right below the edge, you will get that behavior as well. Well, that's definitely going to happen. That's always yeah. been the case in Fermentide. Yeah, that's waterfalling, right? Waterfalling is one. Uh, waterfalling yeah. is one that you can't move, though. But like, let's say right. you have a yeah. horde coming from a large area, to a wide area to a thin area. They're all going to path through the same thing and hit it at roughly the same time. It's going to yeah. lead them just naturally to run right next to each other because of lack of collision. And then if you stupidly walk into that as they're all doing that, of course you're going to get insane hyperdensity. That's why you only ever joust. Uh, not even joust. You do a fighting retreat in chokes in hallways. 
Let's see. Let's make even more. Now, where has everybody gone? Yes, Tasano, we did. Um, some intel eventually. I gotta translate it into a video. <coughs> Alright, I'm just making this absurd as possible. Like, this is sure. beyond absurd. This is never, ever going to happen, guys. This is like 50 slave rats in literally the same spot. Of course, <laughs> if I walked right to it, I get hyperdensity. That doesn't mean anything. The question is, do they stably run at me? No. It had nothing to do with them throwing the blob. It has something to do with mixed... There's something funky with the chaos, and there's something funky with mixed chaos. That was perfect V1 behavior. We didn't even get one set of insane running attacks with the slave rats. Would you say, point proven, there's something going on with chaos? Hmm. And everyone sure. will tell you anecdotally that the chaos hordes are like infinitely scarier than the slave hordes. And I don't think it's yeah, just yeah, because I agree. they're lighter. That, that could be the case. They, they, they also have they more do, health. They have more they health and they do more damage, more damage, yeah. But I don't think that's what and it I is. And I think they have think a AI. bit harder to read running attacks and standing attacks. That's actually could be the case. One hundred percent true. Let me show you what that's like. So, um, from the perspective of a player, you have to dodge much, much earlier, or at least it feels that way. It could just be again. It could be the the result of tons and tons of play, but I feel yeah, like exactly. you have to watch, especially the knife one. The knife one seems really subtle. Watch his standing attack. It seems like there's one here. That one. Yeah. You have to dodge. So early. Not when you think. You think you'd have to dodge when he puts his overhead like he's about to start swinging? No, you're already screwed. You'd have to dodge when he literally first starts to moving his, mouth, his thing. Which is not at all the case with slaves. It's very hard to dodge, even with tons of experience. I'd have to sit there and hyper-focus on dodging it. When he first starts moving his knife... Like, when he make, moves his hand from, like, this to this, when he moves his wrist, that's when you have to dodge, even as host. Yeah. So off-host, it would be literally impossible to dodge their standing attacks. So maybe I'm looking at the wrong thing, right? Like, maybe I should be looking for when his foot starts moving, because that really is when he starts his attack. But this, the, the chaos... It's, so there's a couple things going on. There, you're absolutely right. It's just objective stats about damage, HP, and mass, right? And stagger resistance. Those are all things that make them harder. But there's something funky yeah. going on with the AI that has to do with the interaction with the, the slat system or some other system. And there has some, their animations are way, way harder to read. And it's either that they're harder to read or they're faster, one or the other. So when I timed yeah, it... I mean, it's it's very hard to say if they are harder to read because you, you played so much from Meta 1 and you have huge amount of experience with, with scale and Slaves. So yes, maybe, so, in, maybe in one year you will feel that the Fanatics are as easy to read. Yes, I absolutely agree with you. So the one thing I thought might be going on, and um, uh, Doom Hamster, I'm sure you know, his thought was that their attacks are literally just faster. But if you time them from the moment they first move their wrist to the time where they hit you, that you get a damage indicator, and then you compare that to the first noticeable frame of movement for a slave attack, it's the same number of frames um, off of like six trials within you know um, um, a margin of error for my really crude test of recording at 60 FPS. Um, but... For whatever reason, it sure it sure feels like if you even if you dodge close to that first frame that you don't dodge it. But it could absolutely be the case that my brain is just reading it so much faster than it, I just can't tell the difference. And I I couldn't. No board didn't feel sensitive enough to tell if I was dodging roughly in the same frame. I'd have to do more tests to see. But in any yeah. case, it's harder to tell. The bottom line, guys, if you feel like chaos hordes are harder, there's a, there's definitely some objective evidence. That there's there's some reasons for it, and it's in multiple yeah, systems. And, uh, that's it's it's great feedback. I'll definitely look into it this week. I think. Okay. Okay. Well, Maybe combined with some animators to see if the animations are correctly sped up and stuff. Okay, and it could be. There's sure. the other thing. It could be. It could not be. It could not be the frame. It could be literally they have a longer reach or something like that. Right? Yeah, that's possible. Yeah. Um, so there's there's a couple things it could be, but it, subjectively and with very minimal but somewhat objective testing, the fanatics seem considerably hard, like more aggressive 
faster, harder to respond yeah. to. Yeah, it's it could be anything. It could be the slot system. It could be their considerations for their attacks. That is very different from the slaves. It could be their reach or animation triggers in their attacks. Could also be the case. So yeah. I'll have to look at all those parameters and figure out if something's wrong. Consider, um, what, what do you mean, considerations for attack? What does that mean? So, consideration for attack could be distance to player, or if the player is moving, okay. or if he's, or if he's in a attack cooldown, or some some enemies have attacks that looks at if you have all slots occupied, the mauler, for example. Okay, cool, cool. All right, I think this was productive. I'll, I'll yeah, let you absolutely. Go, go kill some rats yourself instead. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Hey, everybody say thanks to Moria. We're, we're pronouncing it like the minds of Moria now. And then sure. uh, someone should make some memes about say friend and hopefully no memes about enter. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. All right. Yeah. Have a good day. Yeah. Yeah, you too. See ya. All right, guys. It was an opportunity to do this this morning, so I thought it'd be a good use of our time. Um, and I couldn't figure out a better way to share what I was doing on my screen than just streaming it. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. If you have more ideas or questions to push back to devs and such, um, PMing me on Discord's not a bad idea. If I get a lot of them, I'll make a channel on the Discord for doing it. Um, if you're not on the Discord, this is the Discord, but I'm sure most of you are. Um, V1 had no, there were literally no medium enemies in Vermintide. There was no such thing. There was, everything was the same thing except for the mini boss, except for the ogre and, and specials. Um, so there's a lot of changes to the system that makes it a lot more interesting. So they'll, they'll keep tweaking it. The, but it's incredible. How many knobs they have to tweak is incredible. Did you hear the number of variables he was listing? It was insane, right? Distance to player, player movement, whether the enemy is in a cooldown, whether the player has all their slots occupied, um, and there's all the features of the attack itself, um, the, the, the animations, the attack points, the the distance, the the the, the, the where it's hitting at a given period of time. That's just for one enemy. And then you have to consider the way the slot system works, the way the AI long range works, the way the whether or not the systems are competing with each other, the slot system keeping stuff near, and the other stuff in the background, if they're getting triggered by running attacks for some other reason based off of proximity and their movement. Like some, There's so many things that I don't envy them at all trying to figure out all the different things that could go on. This is like trying to debug, like if any of you are in academia or something like that, if you write a numerical simulator for like, I don't know, cell biological cell adhesion, which is something I tried to do in college. You know, you could have like 60 different parameters and 20 or 30 different systems that are all interacting and trying to figure out why you see a particular behavior. It's not even an objective science sometimes. It's just, it's feel and trial and error and it can take days. So you got to appreciate, one, the level of performance this game has considering how many units there are in this game. There's an insane number of units in this game and it manages to make the combat feel fluid and challenging and cool without melting your CPU, which is a huge testament in itself. If they were trying to do collisions and stuff, it would be impossible. So what they've come up with is, is revolutionary. It's really cool. Um, and it leads to, like, again, this is my favorite game by miles. Everyone knows that. Um, and it, it does it in cool ways that aren't always the same, and it leads to all sorts of interesting tactics. Like, I think it's a really cool system. Um, so d the fact that there's little things that go wrong with it and such, it's because it's so ambitious. Not because they are <laughs> they don't know how to code or something. Like the fact that there's issues with it is it's it's inevitable. It's it, it's like there's a mil there must be fifty different knobs they can tweak. Plus they can pull apart the engine and rebuild the engine. There's there's a million little things they can tweak. Right, tweaking a knob would be like make the fanatic attack animation point two seconds longer. That would be a knob they could tweak. But go in and fundamentally look at how the slot system of the small units interact with the medium units. That would be rebuilding the engine uh, in this analogy. It's it's crazy. Marauders are medium size, so they say, we have priority because we're bigger than you, GTFO. 
and then they say we're going to make a medium slot here and if there used to be a small slots here the slot system says medium slot be wins over small slot so therefore there is no more small slot here therefore whoever had the small slot you don't have a slot anymore that's how that's supposed to happen what I expect is kind of happening is the medium slot is telling the small slot to get GTFO right the small slot is being kicked out but that unit is already so close to you that he attacks you and then when he gets done the local fail safe that the AI is if you're right next to somebody dude attack that dude and even though he doesn't have a slot anymore he's stuck so if I had a shield and I pushed him out of that slot after the mauler comes in and takes his slot he wouldn't come back but once he's there he's stuck there that's my my expectation is that the real issue right here is the fail safe AI the very basic AI that says if you're really close to the dude attack the dude is winning when it shouldn't and it's interacting in a funny way with the medium and small slot system that never happened with the old-fashioned V1 slot system. Okay. Can you get eight storm vermin around you with hyper... Uh, that would just be normal. Eight storm vermin would be normal density. That would be slot system consistent density. And I want you to notice that the Skaven performed correctly every time. The Skaven were fine. It was the... Berserkers and the Fanatics that were a little weird, even when they were just one side of them, and they were both of them, it was really weird. Um, okay, guys, it's Mother's Day, and I'm going to go hang with my family and my in-laws. I think everybody, I hope everybody has a great day. It's American Mother's Day, so if you're in Europe, you know, don't, don't have a heart attack. Um, again, I, I streamed this because I couldn't figure out a better way to share my screen with him, and I thought it would be okay to share with you guys. All right, everybody have a great day. See ya.